Yo guys, welcome back to your PDC Joe Legacy video, guys. Today's Legacy video is going to be on a very crazy, broken, filthy deck. Crustle, the Invincible Crustle deck, Crustle, Reuniclus, Vileplume Superior, is ridiculously strong. It's almost unbeatable if it sets up. So, the whole idea of this deck is you're going to use Mew Prime to set up. You want to use Sea Off, you Sea Off to throw a Cradilly in the Lost Zone. Of course, Mew can copy any Pokemon's attack from the Lost Zone. So, you use Mew, throw a Cradilly in there. Then you do Life Splosion. Uh, for the blend grass dc and then you put a superior you then put a vile plume and then you put a reuniclus into play on your bench um and then you have a crustle in your active spot the following turn and it can be knocked out of course crustle's ability if it will be knocked out from attack it is not knocked out if it has full hp and instead its hp becomes 10 and the way we're going to lock this and make it loop every turn we're going to use reuniclus to move the damage around on our bench and then we're going to heal that in between turns with superior while they're item locked and they can't use any items like laser or catcher try to get around the lock and we just win that simple pretty straightforward stuff vile plume is one of the filthiest cards in the format it is really good how good vile plume is i don't know if vile plume will ever get banned one day but i want to show this deck off you guys show off this crazy lock deck just to show you how ridiculous vile plume is and all that good stuff so we're giving you guys of course out to our sponsor card cabin guys as always if you're ever looking for any pdc geo pack outs get them over at card cabin card cabin does sell codes online or the cheapest and of course if you guys are going to get any vivid voltage pack codes dark blaze codes team up codes or specific gx promo codes like the adp Zacian code get them over at car cabin guys and if you get any codes over at car cabin tcg guys at the checkout make sure you use code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase helps channel pub stuff out and helps our car cabin too so yeah shout out to car cabin guys check them out use code ldf so let's look at this broken list now so again vile plume a lot of people have been saying it's been ruining legacy recently for a lot of people and I can see where they're coming from because this card is really good. There's no, there's no like way to knock out Vile Plume effectively because if you get this in play, your opponent can't play Pokemon Catcher, which is the only like logical gust. There's no supporter gust in Legacy, so Vile Plume has been the cause of a lot of controversy in Legacy recently. A lot of people they've been banning it from all the all the Legacy online tournaments people have been hosting on the Limitless site, and I can see why. And this this lock deck is really cool. This is probably one of my more favorite Vile Plume decks. It's a more unique Vile Plume deck. Than you know, just like vile plume walls. It's a unique build and it's a lot of setup, but it, if it sets up again, guys, it's really good. Um, of course, Mew does have 60 HP. You can beat this deck if the Mew doesn't set up or you can't set up quick enough. But of course, I am using stuff like Cleffa in here to try to like, you know, buy some time while Mew's on the bench and just hope we don't get like Pokemon Catchered out. Um, obviously, there are Pokemon that can attack you and poison you in Legacy that some people might randomly play. So I do have a Verizon in the deck so that we can't be poisoned. Um, and then I also have a Mr. Mime Corrector Bench from Snipe Attacks, which is, could be another way you can sometimes lose. Um, so your recognitions can either be you set up the lock and then you just heal every turn and you just deck your opponent out, or you attack every turn and deck and do that. So those are your two ways to win with this deck. Um, some of the biggest ways your opponent can beat you is dusting your moves out early on, dead drawing, Genesect DX can be a bit of an issue, of course, Red Signal. Is very good and i guess nine tails too but nine tails is never seen play other than with a moongus so you don't really have to ever worry about that garb order can stop you too but we are we do have a tool scrapper to get rid of floatstone now i will say two tool scrappers might be better than just one to stop float uh, stop floatstone uh just in case you prize your tool scrapper because you need to if garb order ever gets in play you can't beat that deck so maybe play two tool scrappers but yeah other than that guys if this deck sets up it, you you almost can never lose and i'm hoping in this video i can show you guys just how crazy and funny this deck is legacy they have some of the most craziest degenerate combos i've ever seen in my life uh going the rest of the deck some other stuff uh champions festival is like another superior if you have six pokemon in play you heal 10 damage from each of them in between turns so heals a little bit more damage if you ever need that um option especially against spread if you can ever get the mime down there's a caitlin in the deck uh basically if you have any of these stage twos in your hand you can use uh, caitlin to put them back in your deck to search them out into play i got a flower shop later to get your stuff back also can help you you know win the deck out race if you just if you go for the stall tactic and in twins are really good in here because you're never taking prizes so you can like end your opponent down every turn while vile plumes in play which could be really powerful um and then twins of course you don't take prizes while you set up so you can use twins to try to get that setup going the whole idea with the muse you're trying to get like a blend energy on it you like explosion so you have to go see off and then like explosion so you have to go see off with the psychic energy and then you have to put a blend and a dc on your mew that you can then be able to do like explosion for three pokemon so that's how you try to set up that way again sitting behind like a cleffa to try to set up is really good you just got to hope mew doesn't get sniped or gusted up and then two floats i will say you could put a silver mirror in this deck if you want to to have more immunity between five pokemon but once again guys this deck is so funny and crazy and it's good and it is very expensive so i'll say that right now if you guys 
want to play this deck, you don't, if you don't have any Mews, good luck getting Mews, unless you can just buy a bunch of Triumphant Packs, because Mew is upwards of, like, 80 packs right now per Mew. Uh, Vile Plume's also pretty expensive. The normal Vile Plume art, not the Reverse Hollow one. It's worth, like, 15 packs, so it's an expensive deck to build. I'll say it right now. All the, like, expensive rich players in Legacy, they already know about this deck, so it's not like I'm promoting an unseen archetype. Like, a lot of people already know about this deck, and again, it's an expensive deck. It's, it's one of the more expensive control lock decks in the format that it doesn't play tropical beach i will say that right now so just gonna put that out there it's crazy it's busted don't try this at home i don't know let's go show this lock tech off see it in action i don't know will volume ever get banned one day if i don't know a dev might see this video and be like whoa this deck is busted we might need to ban volume from legacy don't know what will happen i if, if legacy turns return i guess maybe volume will get banned we'll see what happens let's just show this deck off try to get this lock up and just cheese people out of winning the game all right, guys, let's get into our matches here with Krussel. And we're about to see how OP this deck is, if we can get it set up, which I think we can. This deck is very powerful, if you can set up. And it looks like we got a pretty solid starting hand. We can get double Mew. So ideally, we want to put the DC on the bench Mew, because we want the bench Mew. We want to go first Mew has to do C off, and then the second Mew would have to. But it looks like we hit a Team Plasma deck, which is actually winnable, I think. Um, as long as they don't play Genesect, right? If they play Genesect DX, we're kind of screwed. What are the chances they do play it, though? Uh, unfortunately, it looks like our active Mew is about to get bonked. Not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about our active Mew getting KO'd here. It might not get KO'd. We'll put the DC on the bench Mew. We can go Rainbow Energy. Yeah, we'll go Rainbow on the bench Mew. And we'll pass. All right, we'll see what my opponent can do here. I'm hope if they don't knock out my active Mew, I'll be happy because then we can retreat in the other Mew and then just do C off, put the Cradillion there. And then the other Mew can have the DC and then we just got to go boom, boom. We get the Crossle set up and we'll have game on thing. As long as they don't play a Genesect EX, guys, this matchup should be a cakewalk. If they have Genesect EX, though, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble because they can just spam Red Signal every turn. Do they have an N? They have an Oak. Okay, so they actually can't KO me unless they have a Verbank Laser or 3D Oxus. Or 2D Oxus Laser. Hopefully, if they actually... if I'm hoping we can live. I really want my uh, Mew to actually survive the turn, if you cannot tell already. I would prefer it if Mew didn't get knocked out here. Um, I guess it could knock me out with a uh, Deoxys, too. Okay, Mew, don't get knocked out, please and thank you. You have one job. One of the biggest jobs on the planet, Mew. Don't get knocked out. <laughs> Let's go. That's what we needed. So as long as... I mean, a 6 HP Pokemon taking a hit in Legacy, it's not insanely possible, like, likely. But we got it. So we DC. We'll Oak. Trying to maybe get a Dwebble down if we can. There we go. We have a Twins next turn, which is really good. And then we will see off the Cradilly. We have Reuniclus, Vileplume, Superior. They're all in the deck. The gang's all here. So let's throw the Cradilly in the Lost Zone. And now all we have to do is survive the turn. Twins for the energy, put the combo in play, and as long as they have no gust, we should win this game very easily with the Dwebel. Chorus for five, not good for my opponent. The Mime is so good. The Mime, honestly, I want to play two Mimes in here. It's just so important. As you can see, this Kyurem would mess me up right now, but because Mime is in play, we're golden. So yeah, as long as I don't play Genesect DX, it should be fine. I would want to say, I want to play Silver Mirror here, but at that point, you're literally just going to win the game with the Silver Mirror. You don't need the Genesect. If, are they gonna even knock me out here? Ooh, they might. If they don't KO me, that makes things. They don't have a knockout, bro. Oh no, they do the poison. Okay, I was like, bro, they actually don't have a KO. It's a good thing they did. Now we got the setup, so yeah, we just gotta hope they don't play anything, anything cheesy. Our bench is perfect too, which is good. Uh, so we go twins. We'll get Crustle, and we will get the Blend Energy. And yeah, just like that, we are set up. See what my opponent does. They might they might concede before we said I don't know if they've even played against this deck before. There's a chance. So we go Life Explosion. We go Reuniclus Superior Vile Plume. They're item locked now. We're item locked too, but we've played a few items. We I guess we still have comps for stuff. But now we're set up. Now all we have to do is just not if they have Genesect, we're probably in trouble. If they don't have Genesect, we can't lose. We literally can't lose. Unless they have like a weird poison Pokemon. But then we can just bench. Parisian EX. I don't know if it's in the deck or not. But yeah, we just gotta hope they don't play uh, Genesect and we're golden. But this is how we win. So they'll knock out my Mew here. Mew served its purpose. Got a set up. We bring in the Crustle. We just powered up and there's no way they can knock it out unless they have 
Genesect. If they have a Genesect, so be it. If they don't, we should win this game. They could also bench lock themselves. If they bench lock themselves, we actually can just win by not attacking. Um, so yeah, they knock me out, and uh, we can't lose anymore, pretty much. Um, that's how the deck works. <laughs> that's how the deck works. We promote the Crustle. We can end them to four, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna put the blender. I'm not gonna. Put, I'm gonna hold the DC because we might need it in case if they do play Genesect. We might need it to use it to retreat our Vile Plume. If Vile Plume does go down, we won't be able to get another one in play unless we go Mew again. So we gotta watch out for that. Ooh, we didn't get any um thing there. Right, we'll bench the Mew. And we'll just pass. We didn't get a. Uh, we didn't get another energy for this. We can just keep spamming N next. Turn. That's why I like N in this deck because you give up like a couple prizes while you're trying to set up, and then when you do get set up, you can start N your opponent to low hand while you Vile Plume them, which is really good because you're not taking prizes until you get the life explosion combo off until your crustle is also fully powered up so you can actually afford to do this what is hold on what does the second attack do scar energy attached to the vein pokemon Ooh. so they could run me out of energy i guess but we have flower shop lady it's not too big a deal but here we go we got set up so they hit me they don't knock me out we just go reuniclus damage here damage here we just take all the damage off, move it to all of our Pokemon on our board. And, uh, yeah, that's game. Just to be safe, I'm always going to take a damage counter off. Now, I could attach again. Uh, I'm just going to pass. We should win the game, right? So every turn, Superior heals our board. Very fun and interactive game, because now we don't even have to attack them. We can literally, like, because their second attack actually does remove our energy, if we don't attack them, we should just win the game. As long, yeah, as long as they keep playing cards from the hand, as long as we have more cards in our deck and the Flower Shop Lady isn't prized, we should just win regardless. Um, we'll see if they have Genesect or not. I am scared of the Genesect, not gonna lie, but if they bench lock themselves, we don't have to worry about it. So they can do 50 damage every turn. Not gonna make a difference because every turn, we're just doing our thing. Go damage swap, just keep moving damage. The Mime's in place, so they can't do anything with Frost Spear. Not that they could because Superior, and we have Champions Festival too, so... Not even that would really cut it. We just click done. We could attach the fire energy, I guess, too. But uh, again, they have that second attack. I guess they don't have a plasma energy on. How many? Eh, I guess if actually, hold on. Maybe we can. They play two plasma. Okay, we'll wait. If they waste all their plasma energies and they don't actually see they can remove my energy if we try to attack them, we can just win that way. So if they burn all their plasma energies first, then we can go for it. So they can hit me for 90 damage. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. We can still we can stockpile extra damage if we want to. As long as they literally have no gust or bench sniping potential, it doesn't matter. Hit me for 110. It doesn't matter. Ya boy gets healed. And we get to heal 10. Very fun and interactive stuff. So there we go. Damage swap. And we just move all the damage. It's just that simple. And my opponent's probably going to cry. Because <laughs> this setup is really OP. We can even afford to like put extra damage on one Pokemon that can get knocked out. But it's like, yeah. We put all this damage off. This is where I do wish I did have access to a potential... Um, we keep the damage on Crustle, right? Yep. This is where I wish I did have a Champions Festival in play. If we had Champions Festival in play, we'd heal all that damage. But we can wait on it. They most likely play Verbank, so we actually don't want to give them the Champions Festival just yet. We just keep healing every turn. And we'll build up Crustle eventually. We just... I don't want them to do such second attack. I don't have a Plasma Energy on. I guess we could, like, end him to four and then put the energy on and attack him. If we knock this Thunderous out, then I guess they don't have that win condition. It's just they have Genesect. There's a Skyla. What could that get them? But, like, literally, they have to get a they have to get a supporter or a stadium. But not even a stadium works. So they have, like, a weird Plasma attacker that can poison me. Then we'll have to play Seeker. They're going to get an end themselves. It's not going to matter. All right, we'll attach the cross. We'll attach the cross. We'll end them and attach the cross. And hope they don't do their second attack, I guess. If they do their second attack, though, we can't win. That's why I want I want to bait them first. Well, we can win, obviously, but we don't want them to do it. We do need to find Champions Festival, too. So, yeah, they hit me, we heal, and we just chill out. We're vibing. We're big vibing. So, yeah, we just do Reuniclus every turn. Very fun stuff. As you guys can see, this deck takes a lot of skill to play. Okay, it actually does take a little bit of skill. Like, you have to play kind of smart in the start, but once you set up, it's just literally brainless play from there you just go boom boom yeah it's just brainless after that uh yeah we'll end him oh we can put one damage on the okay i gotta i gotta remember that we can put a damage on the cross 
We'll end them. We have more cards than they do. Um, there's a... Okay, we do have it in the deck. So if they don't get a Plasma Energy here, we can try to knock them out, which I actually do want to do. I do want to attempt to knock out this thing. Because we can do 90 damage, which is 180. Press done. As long as Crustle has no more than one damage on it, it can never get knocked out. Just look at this insane gameplay. This is the high quality gameplay you expect from the LDF channel. But uh, yeah, this is why this uh, Crustle Lock deck is becoming a huge threat in the Legacy format. Because look at it. Look at it. So the other lock deck, I probably already mentioned this. There's that Gliscor lock deck. The Gliscor lock deck, not as good though, um, because it doesn't have the ability. Because if your opponent plays Verizian or Keldeo, you literally just lose. Because you can never lock Paralyze Lock. And that's why I like this Crustle deck more than the Gliscor lock deck. Because this one is a little bit more unbeatable. So now we can try to knock him out and put ourselves into a really good spot. Yeah, we just uh, take the damage off. We go, go boom, boom. As long as Mime's in play, we never, we never have to worry about the Kyurem. Um, I just, there's literally no way we can lose this point. We have a Seeker in the deck, so if we have to, like, Seeker something to, like, fully heal it, if that ever comes up, we have that option available to us, too. So it's like, we're immortal, we're invincible. Uh, yeah, just to be safe, I'll take, I'll, I don't want to, like, if the game ever glitches or something, it never heals my guy, I want to be a little careful. Uh, oh, we don't have a fight energy on. Oh, no, bro, I goofed, I forgot to put a fight energy on. Oh, no. Uh-oh, that's not good. Not the end of the world, though. Four card, five card hand, where the odds have plasma energy. Oh, I forgot to put a fight energy on. I put a psychic on by accident. Oh, boy. That's not good. Yeah, I guess actually, if we load this thing up with energy, we never have to worry about Thunderous Noise. So I should have been attaching this all along. There's their. Okay, so now they can't bench Genesect. So we literally have game then. They can't bench Genesect now. So we don't even have to attack them. Uh, though I do want to knock this out in case the Thunderous Noise comes in handy, because I don't think they play Genesect. I mean, if they do, I'm going to really regret it, but we'll see. We will see. Um, I do want to knock him out. You know what? Let's just hope, hope we get the knockout. Here we go. Ah, oh, no energy. Rip. All right, well, back to basics then. We just move the damage. Keep trolling my opponent. There's a twins. We can just twins next turn, I guess. We have flower shop ladies, so like, there's no way we can deck out, right? So it doesn't matter. We have Caitlyn too, right? I think we can, I think we can use Caitlyn. No, we can't. Never mind. Hold on. We can't. We can't. We can't. False alarm. Take all that damage off. Press done and <laughs> heal. And look, I, I'm going to get do anything, bro. It's insane. A Legacy has some of the most insane decks in the TCG, I swear. Like, how do we lose? Like, may okay, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't even attack them. Because if they bench a Genesect, then we lose, right? So maybe we should just stall them. <laughs> we should just stall them. We have more cards still. We have the Flower Shop lead to get Mew. And if they do try to, ooh, that gets us for one card, bro. Yo, thank you for putting more cards back in my deck, I guess. Kek W. Let's see what they do. Thunderous Noise. All right. We just keep it up. Once we find Champions Festival, we're chilling too. Yes, we're just... I mean, as you guys can see, this is just insanely high quality gameplay. This deck is ridiculous. <laughs> this is actually ridiculous. Oh. Oh, okay. I was like, why, why, why taking part? Don't do that to me, game. So we can attack them. Um... We can attack them, hope they don't have a Genesect. We can... I, I honestly, I, I do want to attack them. I, I, I actually feel like attacking them is worth it. Yeah, I'm just going to play it safe and put extra damage on the board just in case. Try the damage a little bit. Yeah, we're going to attack them. Just to be safe, we are going to attack them. I don't even know what else I take. I guess like... Oh, we have to take two cards. We'll take the champion. That's cool. We'll attack them. Look, if they play Genesect, so be it. We knock this thing out. We can just attack and win the game. We don't even have to stall them. I don't want to sit here all day and stall this guy out. We knock him out anyway, so yeah. If they bench a Genesect GX, or EX GX, if you bench Genesect, I'm going to cry. If they do bench it, maybe what we should be doing is try to build a Mew here. We should be trying to maybe build a Mew. It doesn't matter what happens. We're like, we're immortal. We're literally invincible. The... Crustle is just invincible. How do they win? They can. And they do play Genesect. I mean... I guess they do play it. I guess it's bad, but like... We'll see. Nope, no Genesect. Alright, well, now we don't have to attack anymore because they didn't bench Genesect. Alright. 
fun and interactive gameplay. This is the type of high quality gameplay you expect from the Little Dark Fury channel. I guess since there's nothing they can do, honestly, we should just stall them out. But that's like, you guys really want to watch me stall them? I think you do, Kep W. I think you do. We have we still have more cards than them. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. We have more cards than them. We have the Flower Shop Lady. They don't play Flower Shop Lady most likely. Maybe they do, they do. We can also attack and win the game. If we really have to, we have the option to attack and win. So who cares? Might as well attack him. Again, I don't think they play Genesec or any way to deal with Crustle. We're just going to attack him every turn and just try to end this game as quick as possible. But yeah, we got set up and that's all that matters. That's all that matters, we got set up. And now it is like, we're just... They literally can't win. That's all I can say. They can't win unless they have Genesec in the deck. I mean, if they run out of Plasma Energies, then the Genesec is also kind of useless. There's the end. Not going to matter. That also wastes a card from their deck, too. We should maybe start putting DC. We should maybe build up the Mew just in case they somehow take a prize. We can use Mew to just put the thing back in play with Cradilly. What was that, a Plasma? It was. All right, that's one less Plasma. So now the, the Genocide is even more useless. But even if they have it, how are they going to find it with a three-card hand well item-locked? <laughs> it's just insane -o stuff. They didn't even attack me. Okay. Let's knock them out. They didn't attack me, sure. Maybe they didn't attack me on purpose, but... I mean, I think they've given up. They're down a lot of energy. Like, even if they have Genesect, like... They have one Plasma and their item locked. They have no way to search it. If they do play it. I think we're gonna win. Like, I just... It's not looking like... It's not looking good for my opponent. If they mention Genesect, though, I'm gonna eat my words. I am going to eat my words. I'm gonna really regret playing the game. Like, I'm going to grab attacking. But you know what? It speeds the process of the video up. Just, you know what? Insane gameplay, guys. This is some of the best gameplay on YouTube. Legacy format. The, the format of Vile Plume. The best card in the game. Vile Plume. The best undisputed card in the game. Yeah, I'm just going to... Frost Spear does nothing. And that's, like, less damage, too. So, we don't even have to, like, do the double damage counter movement anymore. We just go... Wow, 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 wow. Might as well attack them. They have a bench spot open. There's no reason not to. Every turn, we just keep moving the damage from Insane busted deck. Highly high skill gameplay. Just ridiculous stuff. We can, we're can we going to take all the damage off of the Crustle anyways. So that we can just heal our bench with Superior. So we never have to worry about the game glitching or anything. I don't think Superior's glitch. If anyone finds a glitch with Superior on Crustle, let me know. But we just sit back and ravel in the glory of this ridiculously broken lock deck. Filthy. And there's more lock decks in this format. This is not the only lock deck in the format that is overpowered, but this is one of the filthiest lock decks. Because it's harder to beat than most other lock decks in the Legacy format. Because there's the Weavile Hand lock deck, there's the Gliscor lock deck, there's the Snorlax Vileplume deck. Those decks are all beatable. This deck almost is unbeatable. Because of the Verizian, your, your tactic of poisoning won't work. Yeah, we're just gonna keep doing our thing. Just woo. I'm surprised this guy has not conceded. I, you know what? I'll give you credit there, Jig Bob, three two three two. I'll give you credit for not conceding. I don't know how this guy hasn't conceded yet. Uh, he may, maybe he's played against this deck so much that his brain has just imploded. I actually don't know how he hasn't conceded yet though. Um, okay, just making sure this thing can't do anything cheesy. We got no damage on our Crustle and Stone Edge. So we gotta do is knock out the Deoxys. Now we win the game. Prizes. Level ball is good. I do want to play a silver mirror in this deck too. Uh just in case a Genesect, but like most most uh TDK decks don't play Genesect. Lugia might play Genesect, but sometimes they don't. Like most plasma decks like don't play Genesect. Mm, you know, it's not as likely. So let's see what they can do. I think there's they're far behind anyways, so like if they get a Genesect down, it might be too late anyways. There's an end of two, that's not gonna matter. They just can't win the game. Just cheesed them out of the game. They should be technically doing Blizzard Burn to try to do the most damage they can. But like, it's like, as long as the game doesn't glitch, it's like impossible to lose. It's impossible to lose. I don't know, guys. Legacy, it is, it is an interesting format for sure. It is, 
a very interesting format. Uh, it is kind of a shame that all these lock decks have started to like get more attention. Says the guy making a YouTube video on it. I know I'm probably gonna get thousands of views promoting the deck. However, this is an expensive deck. If you guys don't have any Muse or Vile Plumes, Vile Plumes are like upwards of 15 packs. Now the Reverse Hollow is like around 80, 90 packs. Um, like this is still an expensive deck to build. It's not like it's not like anyone could just get in a legacy and just build this deck. So you know what I mean? It's not like it's that bad. I'm just trying to make a case for myself. This deck is kind of expensive. Mew Primes, you have to get four of them. Their Mew Primes are like 80, 70 packs. They're expensive. You get four of those, like 200 plus packs. Vile Plume's expensive now. It's probably going to keep rising. This video might make it rise. You know what I mean? Like, you got to think of all the little insides. It doesn't matter. No, no one can just hop into Legacy and just build this deck, you know? You have to already be kind of rich at the game. And the rich people already know this deck. It doesn't... In my eyes, it doesn't do any harm. I'm just showing off a broken combo. Um, can Vile Plume ever get banned in Legacy by TCBI or the devs at PCGO? I mean, I don't know. It's like, Legacy is such like a harmless format. I don't know if they could ever ban Vileplume. Should Vileplume be banned? Let me know. Do you guys think Vileplume should get banned from Legacy because it just creates such a overpowered broken decks like this? Let me know. But like, it's not like they support Legacy that much anyways. There's you know, no Legacy tourneys. I don't know. Will will they ever ban Vileplume from the format? I d highly doubt it. If, if I guess if Legacy gets like a big resurgence and they do end up bringing tourneys back in that resurgence, then maybe Vile Plume will get banned. Because let's be honest, if Legacy Tourneys come back, I'm playing nothing but Vile Plume. Because it's just the easiest deck on the planet to get wins with. It's so good. Any Vile Plume. You could play Vile You could play Quad Vile Plume. You could literally just play four Vile Plumes and you could win all your games. You just put a Silver Mirror in a Vile Plume and hey, Plasma can't beat you. I don't know. I mean, Vile Plume. I mean, it's so overpowered that like it probably needs a ban, but I don't know if the devs will ever ban Vile Plume because it's not. It's not that broken, you know what I mean? Like, it's broken, but, like, it's not like... I don't even know what I'm trying to say at this point. We're just trying to end this. Okay, there's a hedge. Now we win next turn. Right? No, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. We have 170 HP, not 180. And that will be game, most likely. Unless my opponent throws the insane, most crazy hat trick out of nowhere they were saving for the last turn of the game. To try to defeat this insane Crustle Lock. I, how does this guy, like, keep... How has he stayed in the game, bro? I am genuinely impressed that this guy stuck the entire game out. That is some dedication right there. That is some dedication. Ah, there he goes. He concedes. I was actually going to read it close just to be safe. Even though we did have the KO. But yes. Good old Toxic old Vile Plume, guys. Getting a free dub. Whew. Insane. Alright, guys. Getting into another match here. Uh, looks like we recognize. We are up against a Psychic deck. We'll have to see what this is. And we get a cliff start. No Mew in our hand. If hopefully we can top deck a way to get Mew here. Uh, because we have DC. No, bro. No Mew in sight. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't think we get Donk though. So we can bench the Verzian. We'll have to pass. Yeah, not get a Mew there. Not ideal. But it looks like we're playing against a Gothitelle, a Selgor deck. This deck does poison me, um, but this is why I do play the one of Verizian, just in case we do play against something like this, where we need the Verizian. I maybe could have benched it. I, I should have. Well, I had to bench it. We could get donked. You never know. Yeah, hold, if we can draw a Mew here, I'm going to be pretty happy, because I want to make sure we get a C off before they get me. There's a Verbank. Ooh, I don't think they play Laser, though. Yeah, they shouldn't play Laser, so we should be okay. Like, all we, literally all we have to do to beat this, unless they're playing Flygon, which I don't think they are. If they're playing the Gothitelle build, all we have to do is get the C off, get it up. We should win. Um, we'll see how it goes. And we have the Verzian, right? So as long as Verzian get knocked out, they do unfortunately get a pretty good start. They got the Shelm and the DC on it, and the Juniper. And another level ball. That is not good. We're probably going to have to, like, well, we have to do C off first. We're going to have to save Klepa. Right, Mew top deck one time. Yikes. I don't want to end them here. Gotta hope for a Mew and an energy. I don't know how long Cleffa can survive for. There we go. We got the C off. Okay. This is what we need. We got the C off. Um. So we got the Reuniclus. We have the Superior. We do have the Vile Plume. We do have one Dwell Prize. The energy's all there too. Oh yeah, Spear's in our hand. Derp. Huh? Yeah, it's gonna have to be a see off. Unfortunately, it looks like we are gonna see my opponent knock me out. If we actually didn't have a rainbow energy on, we technically wouldn't be knocked out here. If that was a blend energy, we wouldn't get knocked out by the uh by the Acelgor because we actually do have the ability 
So that kind of sucks. We'll see. They need a floatstone and a Selgor here. Pretty likely they get it. We're gonna have to sit behind a couple Eeks here until we set up. Um, see, this is this is the main issue of the deck. Slow starts like this can really hurt your setup. We'll see if we can get there. They do item lock us too, and I, I item lock would be really bad. I probably should have played the floatstone. Yeah, we definitely should have played this. No, bro, they have the nuts. Do they have the knockout? If they own the KO, we can put the fine energy on it. We can do uh, we can do life explosion for Reuniclus and Vile Plume, which is probably what I'll do. Assuming they don't have the Aselgor. Do they have it? If they don't have it, I'm pretty happy. They got it. Rip. Well, they can copy any attack, right? Oh, they don't have it. What the heck, bro? Are you serious, bro? This man just knocks me out with trip over? Oh my god, bro. Oh, look at that. We drew a Mew. Um... I... <laughs> bro, I don't even know what to tell you at that point. Alright, um... I'm just gonna put the fire energy on it. Just to have two energy for life explosion. It was eek. Ah, oh, there's a DC. Hey, we stay asleep. So they actually need to hit me with a Selgor here to knock me out. We did get a Dwebble finally. We also got the Champions Festival, which could be good. We're gonna... If they, okay. If they got the Tell Me here, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Because we can't level ball. I want to level ball for another Mew here. I want to make sure I have two Mews in play. Because we're probably gonna go two energy. And then we need another energy. So we're gonna need to get... We're gonna need to hope we don't get knocked out. And there's the Junk Arm. That will get them via Selgor... Um, ooh, they actually don't tool scrap for me, which is actually good. Getting, keeping the, because I might have to just give, I might have to give my opponent a free Brizian. And we slap a blend energy on it. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, there's the Assault Gore. And unfortunately, we will get knocked out by poison here, unless we didn't have this in play. Oh! They're gonna eek? Okay. That's huge. Um, that is really good. We stay asleep, which, I mean, it doesn't really matter. There's a Twins. Good stuff. Okay, are you gonna bench or not? Alright, let's go twins. I'm gonna get the energy. Probably another twins, right? What else do I need? I think that's it, right? Yeah. I don't think they have a gust attack, so I'm... I mean, I'm hoping they don't. If they have a gust attack, rip. I'm gonna burn this. Get the other Mew out of the deck. I'm not gonna bench it. Um... I think I'm just going to pass. Actually, no. We should have played the Champions Festival. But at the same time, it's better to hold on to it. As long as we have the Brizian, the poison doesn't matter. We should have held it, though. There's the Gothitelle. Yeah, there's the item lock. That's why I... I mean, we don't have that many items left in our deck. To be fair. Maybe... Oh, actually, maybe they eked because they don't know they can actually kill me with poison. As long as prevent all damage, they can actually poison me still and knock me out. I don't think they knew that. That's probably why they eat last turn. Unless they had a dead hand and they want... I mean, to be fair, getting Gothitelle and play first is fine. But because we have the setup here, as long as they don't play catcher, which I highly doubt they do, we're going to guarantee the lock. So I, I actually don't agree with the idea of eking. They should... If they knocked me out, they would have put on a lot of pressure. So it's actually really good they didn't knock me out there. They're still not knocking me out? Okay. Um, Can we... If we wake up here, I actually don't even know... Wow, okay then, game. I see how it is. Uh... What are the chances they play Gust? What are the chances they even have an attack that can damage me? I gotta say really low, right? There's no way they have an attack that can snipe me, right? I'm just gonna put the DC on and pass. I'm not gonna do anything else. We're not, I'm not gonna play any supporters. Just gonna. I could've played a supporter to try to guarantee like a couple item discards. Don't think it's worth it, though. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just chill out, because we, we're going to idle mock ourselves anyways, right? I don't really care. We are awake now, and ooh, they're going to pass too? Perfect. Oh, but maybe maybe they just don't want to knock me out. But this is why, okay. We should have secret last turn, then. They could be holding on to an... We should have gotten secret, though. Okay, I think I know what they're doing. They know my bench is full. We're going to go twins for... I'm a twins. Do we have the other arena clothes? Okay, we do. I'm gonna get level ball and seeker.
pass. I'm gonna hope they don't play Gust. It, honestly, maybe we should have just went for the CR. But they can also just not... Actually, ooh, I don't know, honestly, if it was better to do C off there or not. Maybe I should have seed off for the Vileplume and the Reuniclus. I don't think they play Gust. Okay, you know what? Aselgore got to tell. It doesn't play any Gust. I swear it doesn't play Gust. Nice. Okay. They item lock me. We didn't even need the Seeker. Look at that. Um, That's fine. And we're going to get the setup here as long as we don't draw... Actually, it doesn't matter what we do because we have Caitlyn. So we just need to get a uh, special energy on this Crustle. All right, we're, we're just going to burn. We're not going to need this in the long run. Um, just going to play this, I guess. Whoa, what the? <laughs> what the heck? Um, put that, that, that. Put that all at the bottom of the deck. There we go. All right, we got the energy. That's all we wanted. We do life explosion. Go vile plume reunico superior, and that's the setup. We got the Brizian in place, so they can't poison us. That's pretty much. I gotta say, it's gonna be game. We have they have less cards than us. We have flower shop lady. We also can attack them. They can't paralyze us, so it's pretty much game over at this point. Unless they play a Genesect DX and a Plasma Energy. Which I don't think they have. They honestly, I think they could have put they could have put me into a bit of a pickle if they attacked me on my Clef. They could have knocked out Clefa with poison, so they should have attacked my Clefa there. Um they could have. I it Clefa gets knocked out by the Verbank, so they should have attacked my Clefa there. Because they didn't, I think we're gonna walk away with a dub here. Deck and cover doesn't even KO me, which is kind of funny. Um yeah, that's pretty much game over, I want to say. Just go here, retreat, uh, spread out the damage, and I mean, yeah. There's not much else we can really say at this point. I can't think of any attack they can use. Um, yep, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. We can even end them here. Uh, might as well just put some more pressure on them. As long as we don't dead drop, which we didn't. We're good, okay. And we have Mew in play for later, so for some reason they do get some weird combo off. We have a good setup, so. Yeah, and we can start attacking next turn. I, like, I just don't see how they can win. A Selgor got the tail doesn't play anything crazy. They do have Dustnor in the deck, but with all the healing, the Dustnor literally can't. I mean, can they even get in a play anymore? I guess they don't have a candy. I guess they maybe could have put Dustnor in play. That would have hurt us a little bit with the Champion's Path. Champion's Festival. I, I don't think it matters. I think we've won the game. I think we've got them locked up. This is another pretty good example of the deck just locking people. Let's see what they can do. Do they have anything in their deck that can damage me? They'd have to have a Dusk Gall, Dusk Clops, Dusk Nor to take me out. There's no attacks Mew can copy. Right? Yeah. There's no attacks that can copy. Right? Nothing it can do. There's nothing they can do here to, to knock me out. They can deck and cover. I don't get... If I was poisoned here, we would lose. This is why the Verizian is so important. Because we have Verizian, we just can't lose. Um, we have the Champion's Path Festival. Champion's Path? That's a set name, bro. What am I talking about? There's too many champions to think of. But yeah, as you can see, guys, another just perfect example of this deck's complete and utter dominance. We just go boop. And we, we can just go boop. Boop. Heal. And see if... Oh yeah, we need another energy. I mean, I keep forgetting about that, bro. I'm dumb. Alright, we're just gonna pass. I keep forgetting. We actually need another energy on our Crustle. Uh, rip, I forgot about that. Alright, that's fine. It's not like it matters anyways. It really, literally doesn't matter. There's the well-played... I, I don't know. That's game. That'll... I think I'm gonna wrap the video with the deck. I, I pretty much just showed you two perfect matches of the deck and just how it beats. How it wins. And we even can buy a pack from the shop. We're gonna be with zero coin. But I am gonna grind the ladder a little bit, so... We're gonna we're gonna get Trump and Pack, and if bro, if we pull a Mew Prime or a Reverse Hall, I'm gonna be mad if we get a Reverse Hall Seeker because I would have liked it for this video. Um, we'll see. What we get though out of the Trump and Pack, and that'll pretty much be it for the Legacy video today, guys. With the deck, here we go, guys. Open a Trump. Will we get a Prime Gengar Reverse Hall Junk Arm Reverse Hall Twins Mew Prime? Kelby Prime. Yay! Double rare. Ah, oh, Golduck, bro. What are you doing? No. Every time you see a double rare and triumphant, you get so hyped and it ends up being a reverse hollow, a ghoul duck. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Crustle deck. I'm just going to leave it with you. Those two games, that first game there, our setup was a little convoluted, but that'll happen. 
Now, uh, I will say there was one card I maybe forgot about, and that is Energy Exchanger. You can actually use this. I, I thought it was only basic energy, that's why I didn't put it in, but you can actually use this to find your DCs a lot easier. So I would recommend playing two of these or one of these. I kind of forgot about it. Um, but yeah, I think this deck, once again, it's super good. Um, maybe play a second Seeker if you want. Other than that, though, I don't know anything else I would change about this list other than adding in another... Add a second Seeker, add that energy exchanger. That's it for the list. Uh, I think this deck has a lot of potential to be one of the best Vileplume decks in Legacy. It's very hard to defeat. There's only a few cards that I can think of off the top of my head that can really put this deck through the ringer. Other than that, though, this deck can all beat almost anything. It's really good. I showcased it really well for you guys. Will any devs see this video, and will they ban Vileplume? I highly doubt Vileplume will ever get banned because Legacy doesn't get much support. If Legacy gets more attention down the road, if they bring back tourneys or something, I think Vileplume will get banned because everyone will just play Vileplume in the tournament. So Vileplume, I think, will eventually get banned if they do that. But for now, I don't think Vileplume will ever get banned. Hey! Look at that, we got a trade. Dude, a trade went through. What do we even get? Look at that, good timing too, right when we had 8 coins. But uh, yeah, Vile Plume, I don't think will ever get banned anytime soon. Yeah, if you can afford this deck, give it a try. I mean, I don't recommend it because you're probably going to get a lot of people angry. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this funny video on the Crustle Lock deck. Crustle Invincible deck, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, sub down below. Help me reach... 13,000 subs. I think we actually just reached 12.3k subs. So thank you guys for that. Yeah. Check out my Twitter down below. Follow me on Twitch down below. Twitch.tv slash Little Dark Fury. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in another PCO video tomorrow. Bye bye